Hi everyone, welcome to this new Focus Friday video in which I will be reviewing the Red Sea uh, Filter Media Cup which is a new product by Red Sea to replace the filter socks that you usually keep in your Red Sea reefer in uh, the place that's reserved for that. So, um, without further ado, here it is. Today I will be uh, today I will be unboxing and reviewing this uh, this media cup and compare it to some of the other things that I have used uh, in its place and of course some uh, some suggestions on what you can uh, keep in this filter media cup. So let's uh, start by unboxing. At f in first glance, it's uh, just a simple black c cardboard box with uh, without much further stuff it's just pretty straightforward black box white characters and a picture of what's inside so um, you can pick it up at your local fish store for around I think 15 to 20 euros or dollars I think that's a, that's a very common price um, and it says free media bag included which uh, of course it is so let's open it up so same as with the outside, the inside is uh, uh, pretty straightforward. The media cup is in there and there's a filter media bag in there. So let's take it out and put away the box. So there it is, the filter media cup by Red Sea. There's uh, the filter bags inside, so let's just take that out. I'll show you that in a little while. Uh, the first thing you notice, you will directly notice when you take it out of the box, is that it's very sturdy. So the material is not flimsy, it's uh, pretty thick, uh, thick stuff. And um, yeah, I like that about it, because it's just, it's good quality. You pay, you pay a decent amount of money for it, so the least you expect is that it's good quality. And uh, I think it, uh, it is. There's even a little bump in here that will increase structure, the structure of the thing as well. See, if I squeeze it, it's not it's not bending. It's bending a little bit because you notice that it's uh, it's good plastic, but it's not it's not breaking and it's not uh, bending too much. So, the filter media cup. There's a small red C logo on the bottom, as you can see, right here. Well, that's it. It's pretty long, especially I'll show you in a minute when I, you compare it with uh, some of the other solutions. So you can uh, put quite a lot of uh, filter media or whatever you would like to put in there. In there. So let's move, put this one here for later use. And then we'll move to the table. I uh, bought two, so I already unpacked one. Uh, here you can see the filter media bag that is included. It's just uh, it's a black uh, bag. I think it's pretty similar to the one you get when you buy uh, the Red Sea Carbon, which I uh, have uh, used before, and that's also a very good use for it. So when you have some carbon, uh, either Roa Carbon or Red Sea's own carbon or other carbon brands, it's a uh, it's a good filter media bag to uh, to put carbon in. When you want to use another product in there, like for example Roa Foss, uh, which is very uh, uh, it's it's very fine, uh, so you'll need a bag that also accommodates that. So uh, you need a bag that will uh, keep the Roa Foss in there. Usually, when you buy a Roa Foss, the bag is included as well. So don't use this bag for Roa Foss, for example, because it will all uh, dissipate into the water, and that's not what you want. Uh, another thing you can uh, use with the uh, uh, with the filter media cup is uh, 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 this stuff, white filter floss. If I'm uh, if I'm correct, that's uh, that's something you can use in there also to uh, to catch the dirt out of the water. Um, when you are using white filter floss, be sure to rinse it before you use it with hot uh, water because otherwise your skimmer will uh, will have a party and uh, it will overflow. So those are a few of the things you can uh, put in the filter media cup to, uh, to use it in your tank. So now let's compare the filter media cup to some of the other solutions that you can use in the same spot. Uh, for example, 
uh, these acrylic containers which I have uh, been using for almost over a year as you can see I've been using this one a little more uh, discoloration of the acrylic um, these are some of the solutions that were created before Red Sea created their own filter media cup so uh, uh, I think Red Sea had, uh, had seen that and uh, developed their own solution for it which I think is very uh, very good a good move from them um, Another thing you can use is uh, a mesh filter, for example. I think there's other materials as well. Um, as you can see, these also get dirty quite easily. You can put them in the washing machine or rinse them very well. But um, well, I've been using this one for uh, for a few months, but it gets clogged pretty easily. So I'm I'm more uh, I, I like the the cups more and. Um, yeah. So when you compare the two, you can see that the red filter, red C filter media cup is quite a lot bigger. Uh, that means you can put more stuff inside. Um, and other than that, there's not a lot of difference, except for the fact that this one has uh, vertical slices as well, whereas this one only has openings on the bottom, which will cause it to. Uh, clog up quite easily. There's also a new version of this one which also has the vertical openings but uh, and I, yeah, so like I mentioned I bought this one over a year ago so I never bothered to buy the new ones. Luckily this one has so uh, um, for me it's a good upgrade and uh, I'll show you uh, in a minute. So let's uh, fill her up for example with white filter floss so there it is. Let's put it in the tank. As you can see, I already took out the other ones. So let's put in the new ones. For example, this one with white filter floss. And let's put in the other one as well, just for show. I'll put in some raw fuss uh, later today after finishing this movie. So as you can see, they uh, there's a good fit, of course, because they're made for it. Uh, you can put them in any way you want. So you can uh, just uh, uh, place them inside the uh, the handle, pull it, put it in, and then it's uh, it's a snug fit. So um, what will happen now is that. As with the other filter sucks as well, the water will uh, come into the tank and then uh, overflow onto this part and then go into the media cup, as you can see here. And then of course it will need to go down to these, at least these, uh, these vertical stripes to get into the, uh, into the tank. And that way uh, the floss will, uh, will filter the water and all the particles that are inside the water will be caught by the floss. And of course, uh, putting raw fossil raw carbon in the other one will make sure that there's also sufficient flow uh, going through the, the f any filter media you put in there. Be it uh, uh, GFO or carbon or whatever you want to put in there. I think it's pretty, uh, you can use it for pretty all round use. So yeah, there's the uh, there's the review of uh, the Red Sea Filter Media Cup. I uh, I hope you uh, you enjoyed this video. I hope um, it has uh, shown you what it is, how you can use it, and um, of course that you're uh, you're also able to buy one for your own for your own tank. So uh, have a very nice weekend. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. And just in case you're still watching, there's a little preview to one of the next videos coming up right now. Because finally, after thinking about it for nearly two years, I finally decided that it would be nice to have a blue Picasso Hepatus fish. So it's right here, it's very small. But two days ago, 
it sometimes thinks it's an uh, Evansi Antia, so it swims with them. And I will be uh, going over that fish in uh, one of the upcoming videos. So, like I said, have a nice weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> bye bye.